guys and textbook guys in Canton and Pot Sam. Okay, now they're like calling the cops and having them discover your drug stash because you've now invited them into your home. Drug stash? No. This was mowing the lawn stash, obviously. Okay, so this guy got the police called on him because he threw, like, a beer container at his girlfriend's head. Probably just, like, one of those, you know, tall boys. Those can be dangerous. Right. Um, But she called the cops, and they came, and the police came, and uh, they found a container filled with illegal drugs. The search of the home also turned up 40 grand in cash. And when uh, the guy told officers it was from 12 years of mowing lawns, they uh, thought it was a kind of a lame excuse. (laughs) Well, yeah, and then, you know, you keep it. If you don't spend the money in 12 years, is how much? How many lawns? Seven, eight thousand a year? No. Wait a minute, it's early. I can't think. No, I don't know. It's a, it's a bunch. It's a bunch of lawns, but that's not where he got the money. He was selling MDMA and a bunch of other stuff. Unfortunately, he couldn't use any of that 12 grand, 40 grand rather, for bail. All right, and there's this guy who's at the rest area near Albany and takes his clothes off. This guy, Ronald Dickens, got charged with DUI and public lewdness in Albany after police observed him parking his vehicle at a highway rest area and emerging naked from his car. He was the sole occupant of the vehicle, but probably had a a cellmate after they forced him to put on clothes and threw him in jail. Um, (laughs) He's the deputy director at the State Division of Criminal Justice Services. Uh Uh-oh. Want to see what you just heard? Go to the Yes FM YouTube channel and see it. This is Murs in the Morning on 96.7 Yes FM.